Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson on statistics. The question reads, the masses of 40 adults who attended a health clinic were recorded as follows. So there are the masses. Uh, the first part of the question, complete the frequency distribution table below for the above information. Use classes of size 5 starting with the class 40 to 44. So here is the data, the masses are there. So we're supposed to prepare a frequency distribution table. Uh, for the above information, the class sizes should start from 40 to 44. Um, first thing I like to check is the highest mass. So when I do a cross check here, 64, I do a cross check, um, you realize that the highest, the highest is uh, around uh, 74. SD 74. I look at all these values the highest seems to be 74 so i'll create um, the classes with size 5 so continuing from here uh, so i shall have uh, the next one being uh, 45 to 49 the next one will begin from 50 to 54 then the next one is 55 to 59 then 60 to 64 then 65 to 69 then 70 to 74 so those are the classes because i've seen the highest value seems to be this is a 74 so let's count now <coughs> all the masses that are between 40 to 44 all the masses that are between 40 to 44 so let me go and check um, in this column I'm checking 40 to 44 40 to 44 there we have one is in that bracket 40 to 44 then i have that on two i also have that and i also have that so they are four then um, the ones that are between 45 to 49 45 to 49 45 to 49 45 to 49 <coughs> so 45 to 49 is what I'm looking for 44 to 49 is that one there there's another one there another one there then on there, 34 to 49, there's another one there. So those are the ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7. The next one that I want to check are the values, the masses that are between 50 to 54. The one that are between 50 to 54. 50 to 54 that is what i want to check and check on um, this one there this one there <coughs> 50 to 54 this one there 50 to 54 50 to 54 50, 54, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There should be 8. Uh, the next one that I want to check now is uh, the one that are um, between 55 to 59. 55 to 59. 55 to 59. One is there. 55 to 59. There's one there. There's one there. Fifty-five to fifty-nine. Fifty-five to fifty-nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six. Uh, let me go to the next. Uh, the next is sixty to sixty to sixty-four. 60 to 64 
uh, that is one you can see this one there 60 to 64 there is another one there there's another one there another one there uh, 60 to 64 60 as long as it is between that it falls in the 60 to 64 Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be seven. There's seven. Then we go to sixty-five to sixty-nine. Sixty-five. Sixty-five to sixty-nine. Sixty-five to sixty-nine. Sixty-five to sixty-nine. Sixty-five to sixty-nine. Sixty five, sixty five to sixty nine. Yes, I think uh, for that category, they are three. They are three, as you can see. Uh, let me go to the last one now. And um, if you are correct, um, if you want to ensure that you're correct, you just check now because in the last one, eh, these are 40 students. Uh, 40 adults students and they have if they are 40 uh, then uh, it means that when you add all these the remaining you add 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 3 and plus uh, the remaining one should give you 40 so this one should give you all of them so the last one should not be a big problem so but let's just count 70 to 74 70 to 74 these one there there is um, another one there. There's another one there. There is um, 70 to 74. There's another one there. You can see there. There's one there. Yeah, you can see there are five. There are five. So that's all. So we have counted all the values, the frequency. Now, if you want to verify whether you correct, if you add the total frequency that is um, the summation of the frequency the summation of frequency should give 40 total frequency uh, 4 plus 7 plus 11 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5 because it gives that now let's go to the other column midpoint the midpoint how do you get the midpoint we go to the classes like for the class of 40 to 44 to get the midpoint, we add 40 plus 44, we get 84, then we divide by 2. We divide by 2. So 84 divided by 2, you get 42. Uh, the next one, to get the midpoint, we have 45 plus 49. That will give um, 94. 94 divided by 2 will give 47. So you realize, if the class size is... Um, uniform and it is 5 if this is a class size of 5 you can see from 42 the next midpoint is 47 so you add 5 you keep adding 5 so for 47 add 5 you get 40 52 then you get 57 here you get 62 and here you get um i think i'll have to draw a line to ensure that you don't get confused here let me just draw this line like that and then for this one you get 67 so for these you get this will be 67 and this one will be 72 that's the midpoint then fx 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 means you're going to take the column for frequency and you multiply by the column for using a calculator here you're going to take uh, f like in the first class 40 to 44 4 multiply by 42 so 4 multiply by 42 you get 168 so you shall have 168 there then the other one is 7 multiply by 47 7 multiply by 47 you get 329 the next one is 8 multiply by 52 you get 416 then the next one is 6 multiply by 57 get 342 
then 7 multiplied by 62 for 34. The next one is 3 multiplied by 67. 67 multiplied by 3. 2, 1. And the last one is 5 multiplied by 72. 5 multiplied by 72. You get 360. So that is uh, what you get. And um, when you look at uh, what you have now, let me draw this line again to avoid confusion so that you can see properly. Then the next one is CF. CF stands for cumulative frequency cumulative frequency so how do you get the cumulative frequency the first frequency is 4 so to get the cumulative you add the next one 4 plus 7 you get 11 then 11 plus 8 you get 19 then 19 plus um, 6 you get 25 then uh, 25 plus 7 you get um, 32 32 plus 3 you get uh, let me repeat again. This is 4 plus 7, 11. 11 plus 8, 19. 19 plus 6, 25. 25 plus 7, get 32. 32 plus 3, we get, um, we get 32. Plus 3, we get 35. Yes, lost there. We lost there. Then that five plus five, you get forty. That is why I'm drawing this line because I need to be straight. Avoid getting lost. It's supposed to be like that. All right, and that is all. Uh, we've already prepared the frequency distribution table. Now we can go to the next question, which is estimate the model class. The model class is the class with the highest frequency. So which class has the highest frequency? It is a 50 to 54. It has the highest frequency of 8. Among all these frequencies, the highest is 8. So the model class, therefore, is um, 50 to 54. So 50 to 54. It has got the highest frequency. It is the class with the highest frequency. Then the next question is um, estimate the mean mass. Estimate the mean mass. How do you get the mean mass? Uh, this is how you calculate the mean mass. Mean mass, we write the x bar is equals to the summation of fx divided by the summation of the frequency. So we need to get the summation of uh, fx. The summation of fx. Now there is this column that is here. This is where we get the summation of fx. We add all this column, the sum of all the column values on this column, fx. Uh, we add these. So this one 68 plus 329 very fast plus 416 plus 342 plus 434 plus 201 plus 316 and this one uh, when you work it out this is supposed to give you 20 this is a 22 let me calculate 2250 2250 so then the sum of the frequency is 40 so therefore uh the freak, the mean mass will be the sum of fx which is 22 which is a 2250 divided by 40 and this one when you calculate it um is the calculator here calculate this um you get um 56.25 so that is the solution for that part uh the next one is uh the median the median the median so the first thing you have to understand how do you get the median the median is obtained by use of this formula median which is l plus n over 2 minus cf divided by f everything multiplied by i uh, i'm going to explain what you mean by all these um where where sorry where l is the lower class limit of the median class then n the total frequency 
then CF is the cumulative frequency above the median class the median class then I is the class size I is the class size and lastly um, we have um, something here and something is remaining F yes this F this F F is the frequency of the median class the median class so with this formula we need now to get the the first thing you're going to get is the median class the median class I'll use this space be below here so the median class so how do you get the median class the position of the median class will be n over 2 which will be given by 40 total frequency divided by 2 so it will be the 20th position and this uh, 20th position is um, when you go to the cumulative frequency where do we have 20 in which uh, class we have 20 so it is here it will be here this is where we have 20 so the class will be 55 to 59 it will be there the class size is 55 to 59 55 to 59 55 59 55 to 59 so therefore the lower class limit will be 54.5 so you get the lower class limit by just subtracting 54.5 subtract 0 0.5 so therefore the median uh, the median will be given by the lower class limit which is L 54.5 plus n over 2 n over 2 will be 40 divided by 2 then minus uh, cumulative frequency above the median class cumulative frequency above the median class so the median class is 25 the cumulative frequency above that class is 19 is 19 so we are going to subtract 19 then divided by the frequency the frequency of the median class uh, the frequency of the median class is um, the median class is 55 to 59 the frequency is 6 the frequency is 6 so the frequency is 6 then everything multiplied by the class size which is 5 so this is uh, what you're supposed to work out so when you work out this you get 54.5 plus this will be 20 subtract 19 6 multiplied by 5 and um, this one will give um, 54 0.5 plus uh, this will be 1 over 6 multiplied by 5 and uh, when you work out these uh, using a calculator when you work out these 54.5 plus 1 over 6 multiplied by 5 this one will give you 55.3 55.3 point three three and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to work out that question on the statistics